out your score with 5-10 to go here in the third quarter. 11-23, Blackman 15. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You've got an eight, eight, almost an eight and a half minute interview with Coach Kyle, and we're going to try to get to that between games because I tell you, the boys team has, in my mind, exceeded expectations tremendously because I don't think anybody thought that would even be a 500 ball club at this point, and they have really done well against some extremely improved teams. Oh, there's Marshall Drive. Running jumper off the glass is good, so Marshall stretches it back out to 10 at 25-15. Great job with Marshall using her left hand uh, as uh, she used her weak hand to crash the paint there. So Lebanon on the 8-3 spurt to start the second, and they're up by 10, and they're going to call Kim Ha on a reach in. So Dorsett drives to the corner. Ha gets her with the foul. That's the first foul. That's, on her, that's her third foul. On Blackman, but three the on Ha. The half. Boy, and it's starting to fill up, Coach, Friday night. Sure enough. Uh, it's great to see them roll in here. It really more is. More exciting to play when you got them there. Marshall, she was trying to get that uh, inbounder over there, I believe. Uh, the referee decided to give it to Blackman. <laughs> She's still been nice, wasn't it? Yeah, and she's still grinning about it. Here's Frank without <laughs> That would have been something, wouldn't it? And they're going to call a reach in on Brooks. My goodness. Now, all of a sudden, it's breathe on them, and it's a foul. Ain't that something? They must have talked about it at halftime. I think they must have made some adjustments themselves. Even officials can yeah. adjust, Coach. I want to say this right quick about our, our, our girls out here. You know, they have fun while they're playing. If you'll watch their expressions on their face, they're smiling. That is so great, yeah. too. You know, that is the most refreshing thing about watching this bunch. They're not boring, but they're also always having fun. There's a pass across the Brown. Boy, Lebanon was sticky defense up to this point. Franklin, her penetration cut off by Brooks. She'll try it again. Kick it left side. Wide opens over, B. Bounces around no good. And there's Lyndon Eli to clean the glass. But that outlet pass taken away by Overby over to Hicks. She'll stop and pop. Good. Boy, so a little miscommunication that time as the outlet pass stolen. They kick it back into Hicks. And Blackman cuts it back down to eight at 25-17. 350 and counting here in the third. Here's House on the left wing out high to Brooks. Kick it inside to Linda Neelon. She needs to get out of that lane. Over to Brooks in the corner to Marshall. She'll shoot that, and it's good for three. Bombs away, baby. Ebony Marshall from the corner. That's as good as a layup for her if they don't step out on her in 11 and back up by 11. She drained it, didn't she? She is so smooth when she can set her feet and face the basket. There's Overby in the left corner. Back to Dorset. She'll try the same thing off the side of the iron. No good in Linda and Eli, head and shoulders above everybody else. Boy, and I think Lebanon caught a break that time as Marshall seemed to be on the inline when she touched it, but they'll say last touch by Blackman back to Lebanon. Lebanon doing a good job defensively still again. Uh, uh, only one out of seven so far for Blackman this quarter. And there's Marshall again on the right wing, but Hicks jumps out on her this time. They won't leave her that open for a while. Here's Brooks out high, works on Franklin right between the rings. Boy, she blows by her. There's Marshall open again for three off the side of the iron. No good. Runs down her own loose ball, but they're going to say a push from behind, and I believe that's Hicks. So the second team foul of the second half belongs to Takia Hicks, her first. And the team's first. Wow. Officials are awful quick. They're going to put it on the side and let them throw it in, making Coach call well, a timeout right down quick. On the, on yeah. the sideline. Coach, let's leave it right here for a second. Okay. Turnovers have been crucial. Poor shooting, but an awful lot of defense probably can for Iceland, as you talked about earlier. She got two or three or four early in there. And another, there you another. go, right on cue as Iceland Eli finds her sister London on the right side of the lane. The little short jumper off the glass and good. So Lebanon, their lead balloons to 13 and Overby with a missed dribble. Crystal House picks it up and she'll work on Overby. Spin move. Shot at the basket, no good, but Franklin coming back on defense gets her with the body. Be her first. And that should be a shooting foul, but they say no. Wow. Must have got her on the spin move. 
So Lebanon set to inbounds. You're five on the floor for Lebanon. London Eli and Iceland Eli. Ebony Marshall, Jasmine Brooks, and Crystal House. There's Marshall open from the other side for three, and it's good. Great I shot. tell you, folks, you got to get out and get on her. She will drain those corner threes, and Lebanon explodes here and jumps out by 16, 33 to 17. She's got eight of the second half points so far. Here's Brown on the left side outside the three-point line. Kicks in the corner to Robinson. She's been extremely quiet. Now she roams across the lane. That pass way too high for Kim Franklin. Turnover back to Lebanon. 33-17, to 17, Coach, and this was just a 17-12 game at halftime. Marshall getting those eight points there, two threes of that nature, and then also of us scoring with Iceland and London both inside with several baskets after our guards have penetrated. It really puts this thing apart. 16 to 5 run. There's Marshall open for three again. That one in and out. And Hicks with position on Eli. And she'll take it herself to the front court. Hicks stops at the free throw line. Kicks in the corner to Franklin. She'll try a long three. That one was hurried. No good. But there's Hicks to battle for the rebound. And they'll say last touch by Lebanon. It'll stay with Blackman. Wow. A lot of action here. A lot of action going on right now. Blackman's still trying to find some way to make something go down. They've got plenty of shots. Just can't hit the basket right now. Over be out high to Brown. She moves in for a little 12-foot jumper. No good. Chris Rock. Wow. They say last touch by Lebanon on the missed shot. So it stays with Blackman. Over being inbounds to Hicks. She takes about three steps, and Iceland says, thank you. Takes it away on the trip by. Here's Brooks. Great I bounce see. pass underneath to Iceland. Eli missed the shot, but her putback is no good, and she's fouled, and she might be hurt. She got smacked. She got caught up on the basket there on, with a great feed. Coach, sure. this could be a job for her. trainer Justin McKinney. Got to throw him in there. Always on the spot. That's a third foul on Robinson. Iceland Eli, okay, she'll take a three from the left side, air ball, no good, rebound Hicks. A little bit out of her range, maybe. Or a little bit too much adrenaline on that, we'll put it that way. 33-17, Lebanon by 16. Entry pass down low, they'll kick it back to Franklin for three from the left side, and it's good. Boy, and Blackman needed that in the worst way as the lead goes back down to 13. They go into the fourth quarter down by 10 or more. It could be trouble as patient as Lebanon is. 33 to 20, just over a minute to go here in the third. Here's Brooks out high, left side the house, looking for Iceland Eli in that middle. Doesn't stand to London Eli, short jumper, no good. Got a hand on the rebound and ran down by Ebony Marshall. Great presence of mind. She'll take it back across the lane. An underhanded granny shot, no good. Comes back in bounds to get it. Kicks it out the house, and that'll be an over and back when Brooks touches it up. Wow, Ebony Marshall everywhere. Yeah, that's a great Batman imitation great right there. Great series there for her. Everybody standing around watching the ball bounce out of bounds. And she said, hey, I'm going to go get it. She got it and drove the basket. Got a little bit off balance on her shot. Missed it. Got her own rebound. Threw it back out again. A great hustle by Marshall. So Blackman with the chance to end this third quarter on a positive note as they trail by 13, 33 to 20 with 43.3 seconds to go. Dorsett inbounds to Brown. Brown nowhere to go. Back to Dorsett. Right side to Franklin. Dragged her foot. No call. Working on Blackburn into the game for defense. Left side, there's Brown. Over to Robinson. They're looking inside. Nobody there. All the way across to Overby. She'll drive the baseline. Cut off by House. Kick it for three for Brown, and it's good. Wow. Great assist that time as she drew the defense to her in the corner. Found Brown on the wing, and it's open for three. There's three of them for her tonight. So the lead is back down to 10, and we talked about that a moment ago. But there's Marshall ready to answer for three in and out. No good. Long rebound, Robinson. Four, three, two. Robinson in front court. She'll stop and don't know what that was. We'll call it a shot. The third quarter ends on that note. Your score, 11 and 33, Blackman 23. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Lebanon High School Basketball right here on WANT FM 98.9. We're uh, defending national champs in basketball, so a lot to talk about with Florida. We'll have Adam Sparks from MTSU and hopefully Mike Keith. Inbounds to Eli. That's way too easy as Blackman's still on the huddle. These referees are in a hurry, boy. Hey, they gave them the ball out to go, maybe. <laughs> and that was one of the strangest plays you'll ever see. Robinson takes it to the hole. Iceland Eli with a swat mm. and a delayed whistle, to say the least. And they'll call the foul on Iceland Eli. Not saying it wasn't a foul. But my goodness, blow the whistle when it happens. Don't see how the play turns out and then decide. Beer first. 
Uh, talk just a second about the third quarter. Uh, Blackman, 7 of 34 now for the night, 20%. 11 and 14 of 43 for 32 percent as she hits her first one on the free throw line. So the lead goes back down to 11. Boy, Coach, if they could keep it right here, I think they'd be comfortable. As they lead 35-24, here's Robinson's second toss. It's up and good as well. So Christmas Robinson, extremely quiet for Blackman tonight. Gets a couple there to draw him back within 10. Here's Kim Ha into the front court. Haven't caught her name in a while. Marshall has played well. Here's Brooks. Kicks it back to Ha. Ha, top of the key. Left side, Blackburn. Back to Ha to Blackburn. They're looking down low for Iceland. Blackburn for three, and it's good. The banks are definitely open in Lebanon on Friday night. How about that? Oh, yes. I love these what. new hours. <laughs> she believes in herself, doesn't she? I love Great these job. new hours. And there's another three from Franklin, but it's no good. Long rebound London Eli. So here comes Lebanon up by 13 with the ball. Just over seven to go here in the ball game. Well, the three makes a difference, doesn't it? We were two of nine in that quarter. They were three of nine. Blackburn to Ha, Ha to Brooks. They're looking down low for Iceland or London. And that one should be a reach in. They're going to call three seconds. My goodness. So one of the Eli sisters whistled for three seconds in the lane. And Coach Hibden has had that ear bent on both of those far side officials. And there has been a few instances where you could count to five or six. But it's happened yeah. on both ends. It's been great to watch both of them work. And they're both in the ball game right now. But as Blackman plays a 2-3, they both get on both sides of the block. And, of course, Blackman is trying to take those three girls and guard two with them and double team them and it makes it tough and they've done a good job of getting the ball to them tonight in the third quarter here's brown gets it to hicks boy hicks really loves to clear out with those elbows and forearms right corner brown open for three off air ball there's dorsett with offensive rebound it missed the put back and they're going to call a foul on dorsett as she backed into brooks going for the rebound i do believe we'll have to wait and see no, they call Takia Hicks for a backside block out. So the fourth team foul on Blackman belongs to Takia Hicks, her second. Her second. 38-25, Lebanon You're leads. Here's top of thing, Marks, and she walked. Oh, wow, she did take an extra step. Had that little bunny hop. And that's the first full court pressure we've seen from Blackman. Yes. So they're going to turn it up a notch with six and a half to go, trailing by 13. Inbounds to Hicks. Penetrace point. Linda Eli says, here, I'll take that. Thank you. It's here comes Brooks the other way. Straight to the hole. Off the glass and good. Gosh. I just good. love it. So many superlatives you can use, she but quick. Win. There's Brown for three. No good. Blackburn with the rebound. If she's hacked a bunch of times, you can either call Overby or Hicks. We'll see what they get. Hicks. They're going to call Hicks. That'll be your third. A couple of quick ones. That's three on Hicks. Fifth team foul on Blackman. 40-25. Lebanon starting to flex their muscles here, Coach. Yes, sir. That's the third foul on her, and all of them in the third, in the third quarter, third and fourth quarter. Kim Ha traps. She'll work up the near wing. Get it up ahead to House. They've got numbers. Kick it to... No, House takes the short jumper, tap to Marshall, and Marshall's fouled on a reach-in by Dorsett. Boy, the guard's hitting the glass now. It's Brooks and Marshall going for the boards. Third Three in the third already foul on Dorsett. Dorsett. Yes. Wow, and a short bench as Coach Hempton has not really played an awful lot of players tonight. 40-25, Brooks wide open for three. She'll take it and missed it. And I think that was one of those situations you talked about earlier. She was almost too open. Yes. A lot of times it happens when you're out there. Boy, there's that full court pressure, and Blackman struggling. They get it up ahead to Brown, kick it to Franklin, and that pass just about three feet too high. A little bit, a little bit left, tough there. And, and again, you know, you talk about being down 15-5 on the clock. They've tried to press us now in the 2-2-1, two, two, and of course they've shot the tried to shoot the three as much as they could to get them back in the ball game. Here's Marshall. She's triple teamed. Gets it over to Ha. Ha up ahead to House and has it tipped. Taken away by Brown. Kick the door set. Here comes Blackman. Lebanon comfortably ahead at this point up by 15, but you never know with the three-point shot. Here's Dorsett out high to Brown. She'll work around, bounce it back to Dorsett. Dorsett kicks in the corner to Overby. She'll penetrate. Mm. Had a shot and passed it up. Kicks to Hicks for three. No good. Long rebound goes to Jasmine Brooks. Oh, here she comes. Look out. 
All the way to the hole. Great bounce pass to Crystal House. And Dorsett took one in the mouth, but got Brooks on the arm. Boy, Brooks has just got jets. She does. You, you could see it when you come in, and I heard you, your voice kind of get up a little speed there. And she then created the wide open layup back door. And of course, Dorsett tried to recover with her fourth foul now. Goodness, here's House at the line. Free throw good. Boy, she has been such a steady senior leadership on this Blue Devil Let squad. And I tell you, Coach Brown just taking over here this first year. I think he had a good idea coming from the boy staff of what these girls could do, but I think he just had to convince them they could do it as well. Here's Crystal House, second toss in the air, no good. There's Brown on the glass for Blackman. Up ahead to Robinson. Robinson cut off by Hoff, feeds Dorsett for three. 